Welcome to LSM School. Today in this video, we are going to cover exercise 6.5 of chapter 6, that is Triangle and its property of class 7th NCRT book Mathematics. So let's start with the question. Let's start with exercise 6.5 and the first question of 6.5 is PQ is a triangle right angle at P as you can see if PQ is 10 centimeter and PR is 24 centimeter find QR. So in this question we are going to use Pythagoras property. What is Pythagoras property? Pythagoras property is sum of the square of two sides will be equal to the third side which is the hypotenuse side. So QR square equals to PR square plus PQ square. So 24 is multiply with 24 that's the way to find a square and same 10 will be multiplied by 10 itself. So when we multiply 24 with 24 we will get 576 and when 10 into 10 we will get 100. So QR square is 676. So 676 is a square of 26. If we divide 676 with 26, we will get 26. So QR is 26 centimeter. So question number two is ABC is a triangle. As you can see, right angle at C, this is the right angle. If AB is 25 centimeter and AC is 7 centimeter, find BC. So the formula will be same. We will use the Pythagoras theory. And through this, we will get the BC. In that, we use to add both the side to find the third side. In this, we have to subtract the subtract from the hypotenuse to the other side to find the first side. So BC square equals to AC square minus AB square. So AC is 25 and AC is 7. The square of 25 is 6, 25 and square of 7 is 49. So BC equals to 6, 25 minus 49 equals to 5, 7, 6. That is the square of 24. So if we divide 576 with 24, we will get the answer 24. Though that means BC equals to 24 centimeter. Question number three is a 15 meter long ladder reached a window 12 meter high from the ground level. On the place it against a wall at a distance. Find the distance of the foot of the ladder from the wall. So we have to find A. So in this also we will use the Pythagoras property. So A square equals to 15 square minus 12 square. The square of 15 is 225 and the square of 12 is 144. The reason of doing minus here because we have to find this. The formula is sum of the square of two sides equals to the square of third side which is this to find this so to find the this side we have to minus this from this so to find this side we have to subtract this from this to get this so square of 15 is 225 and the square of 12 is 144 so a square will be if you minus 144 from 125 we will get 81 and 81 is a square of 9. let's move to the question number four and question number four is which of the following can be the side of a right triangle in case of the right angle triangle so this question has three parts we will solve one by one the first part is we have given three sides we have to calculate whether will this measurement make a right triangle or not so in this we will first find the square of all the sides then we will use the pythagoras property to find whether it is equal to the maximum height or not 
so the square of 2.5 is 6.25 the square of 6.5 is 42.25 and the square of 6 is 36 so using the Pythagoras property we will add this and this because this is the biggest number we have so using the Pythagoras property the sum of two sides should be equal to the third side we have these these two sides and their sum is if we add 6.25 with 36 we will get 42.25 and which is equal to the third side which is 42.25 itself so yes it can be a right triangle if we make triangle for of this measurement we will can easily make a right triangle moving to the second part of this same question we have given the measurement we have we will find the root of each of the measurement and then put it in the pythagoras property to see whether it can be a right triangle or not so the root of 2 is 4 and as we know that we have 2 2 so the square of both the 2 is 4 and the square of 5 is 25 if we put this in the Pythagoras property, we have to put this and this in the same side. We will add this and see whether it is equal to third side or not. Sum of 4 and 4 is 8, which is not equals to 25. So if we make that right triangle of this measurement, it won't be a right triangle. Moving to the third part of the same question, we have given the same measurement. So you guys should also do with yourself also and find whether the square of these three are correct or not and tell us in the comment section as I know that square of 1.5 is 2.25 and square of 2 is 2 and square of 2.5 is 6.25. We will add these two and see whether it is equal to this or not. We will put it in the Pythagoras property then we will add 2.25 plus 4 equals to 6.25 sorry it's 5 here and which is equal to 6.25 that means this measurement will make a right triangle moving to the fifth question of this exercise and that is a tree is broken at a height of 5 centimeter from the ground and it touches the ground at the distance of 12 centimeter from the base of the tree find the original height of the tree well this is the height of the tree and this is the point where it touched the ground so and from the base itself it is 12 cm we will find the root of the, each of the side and then we will add them to find this part x and then we will add both x and 5 cm so that we will find the original height of the tree so we using the pythagoras property sum of both the side equals to the third side square of 5 meter is 25 square of 12 is 144 the sum is 169 and 169 is a square of 13 centimeter that means x is 13 centimeter and the original height is 13 plus 5 that is 18 meters moving to the sixth question and the sixth question is angle q and r of a triangle pqr are 25 degree and 65 degree right which of the following is true in this question we have to see which equation is correct so we will first find the value of x that means we will find the angle p to find angle p we will use the sum of the property that means sum of all the three angles will be equal to the 180 so if we have to find one part we can easily find because we have given two sides angle q and angle r so sum of all three will be 180 we have given 25 and 65 if we add both the two we will get 90 and 90 minus from 180 we will get 90 that means angle p is 90 that means it's a right triangle so as angle p is 90 then through Pythagoras property we will find which one is true option 2 is correct because because QR is the hypotenuse in this diagram and these two sides are smaller than this side moving to the seventh question of this exercise we will see what we have to do 
find the parameter of the rectangle whose length is 40 centimeter and the diagonal is 41 centimeter if we can see there is a line which is 41 centimeter we have to find the x here we have to find the sides of this rectangle so we will use the same because through this line it becomes a right triangle as you can see and the formula will be same we will use the pythagoras property but we have to minus square of this to the square of this so square of 41 centimeter is 1681 and the square of 40 is 1600 if we minus 1600 from 1681 we will get 81 and 81 is a square of 9 that means b c is 9 the height of rectangle is 9 centimeter moving to the last question of this exercise this is the question number 8 which says a diagonal of a rhombus measure 16 centimeter and 30 centimeter find the perimeter well that means this diagonal of the rhombus is bd is 30 centimeter and ac is 16 centimeter that means the intersecting point point o is the half of both the diagonals and we will find the sides of the rhombus the sides of the rhombus will be same the perimeter is equals to 4 into sides whichever the number we get we will in multiply with 4 that will be the parameter of the rhombus first we have to find the x here that means ab so the side ob equals to bd divided by 2 that means 30 divided by 2 that's how we get the measure of this ob and same for oa we will divide ac with 2 16 divided by 2 that means 8 this part to find AB, we will use the Pythagoras property, which says sum of two sides equal to the hypotenuse. AB is the hypotenuse in this triangle. So AB square equals to 8 square plus 15 square. The square of 8 is 64 and the square of 15 is 225. The sum is 289 and 289 is the square of 17 centimeter. That means AB is 17 centimeter all the sides are 17 centimeter we have to find the perimeter we will multiply 17 with 4 we will get 4 7 4 is a 28 to 68 centimeter 68 centimeter is the perimeter of the rhombus that was all for the video we have solved every question of this exercise for more ncrt videos keep browsing agla school